When I first arrived at Elon, I was nervous, but ex really excited. I tended to be more of a quiet person when I came to Elon. I was more reserved. I was kind of one of those students that would sit and just listen. I think when you arrive on campus that first day and you have like the Elon orientation stuff and the catch the fire stuff, it's always kind of everyone's looking around a little awkward and you don't really know what to do. But the, living in the honors dorm, the Billy House, really provided me with a group of people I can immediately connect to and say, this is what I'm thinking. Even these are some of my fears. And then that continued through not only the first year, but the second year. And even though I don't live in the Billy House anymore, I still spend time with those people. I mean, the people that I housed with freshman year, the people I live with now. I lived on 3DA in Third Floor, Virginia, my freshman and sophomore year. So I was able to interact with people who I lived with, but also had coursework with. And I also got the opportunity to become really close with cohorts that were younger than me. Every year I got to meet 20 or so fresh honors fellows and really be involved with what was going on. As I started taking classes and getting to know people and kind of pushing myself and challenging myself to think outside of my box. And that's what I've always liked about Elon is that it pushes you to think. I like students that keep me on my toes. That's fun. And so they're a fun group of students because they ask questions and keep pushing you in areas where I don't think that I'm rote about the way I teach, but I've been teaching some topics for a long time and I really love a challenging student environment and students in the honors program definitely give you that. The thing I like about being as a teacher in the honors classes is how much it challenges me to think about what I'm talking about. Uh, they take different perspectives on things. They bring up ideas that I would never consider. And it's very easy to say that's interesting and let's move on. But it's really not my agenda that's important. It's their agenda. So I can say, well, let's go there then. Let's, let's go a direction that I don't know anything. And let's see where we go. One of the benefits of working with honor students is being engaged intellectually with them. For Shanna, I think the honors program has been an incredible opportunity to grow individually, personally, but certainly intellectually. On more than one occasion, I have come into her office thinking my thesis is about to implode. And then somehow, by the end of the meeting, my thesis is back on track, it has not imploded, and I even feel excited about it. Dr. Platini has been a great mentor because um, when I went to talk to her about it my sophomore year, um, I only really taken a couple of econ classes, so I didn't really know that much about econ, especially the up-level stuff that I needed to, you know, really do an econ thesis. So I was afraid she was going to laugh at me like, oh, that's a really dumb idea. She's been a great mentor. We we're both passionate about the project. Um, and so we also have you know, a lot of mutual interests in common, which makes working together very good. Kate has come into her own in that she now knows and understands that she's qualified to engage in the discussions in academic communities. You know, that's a really difficult shift for students. You know, they're students and professors give them the information. That's a very old fashioned model. And so it's a critical moment for students where they realize they are smart and they know how to participate in the research and the dialogue to join important conversations. So I was way more confident and felt way more capable and I don't think that my project would have come together the same way if I hadn't had that opportunity. And it was really nice because when I presented my research at a professional conference a couple weeks ago, some of the feedback I got from professionals and scholars was that my methodology seemed really good and really sound. And so it was nice to have seen it develop from being one of my weakest parts to something that I was receiving really good feedback on. I think the honors program is so important in what it does in terms of not only providing the funding, but also providing the support that you need to complete a thesis project. In my mind, the thesis project and the honors program are very much intertwined. And that was a huge draw for me. And in, in fact, I don't know if this is a bad thing to say, but I'd probably be at a different university if it weren't for the honors program. So it's been so tremendously helpful, um, not only in making that decision to come to college, but then following through on my development as, as a filmmaker and as an academic. So.